Traveling by RV is a resurging trend amid the coronavirus pandemic, with families seeking an escape while maintaining social distancing. A motorhome or travel trailer allows you to see the country without the need to use public lodging, restaurants, or even restrooms. We are noticing increased interest in the lifestyle both virtually through online resources and resuming interest in states where dealerships are open when compared to when the pandemic began, says Sam Hafson, a spokesman for Winnebago Industries, maker of Winnebago and Grand Design motorhomes and travel trailers. Trailers are the least expensive way to get into the recreational vehicle RV, lifestyle. That's because owners often need nothing more than the family SUV or truck to haul them. They're much cheaper and simpler to get started with than a motorhome, and they come in a wide range of designs, sizes, and prices. Because a trailer can be removed, the SUV or truck that hauls it can be used year-round rather than serving solely as a vacation coach, as is the case with an all-in-one RV. Plus, the vehicle towing the trailer is likely to have modern safety features that are just now arriving in some RVs, including forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, and robust crash protection. Tow vehicles also provide the ability to safely travel with kids in their car seats, an option that's often not available in motorhomes. Safe Practices for Traveling Now The RV lifestyle has social distancing built in, but there are times when you'll be around other people. RVing and boating are great ways for families to get back out and enjoy the enrichment that comes with active outdoor lifestyle activities, Hefson says. But he adds that campers should follow guidelines from federal and state governments and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in determining when and how to use an RV. Traveling in an RV always involves certain logistics, such as scheduled maintenance, park reservations, route planning, and stocking up on provisions. But during this pandemic, you may need to be more methodical and self-sufficient. Daryl Saunders, a traveler who pulls a 27-foot Airstream Globetrotter, shared several tips with consumer reports from his recent experiences on the road. Plan your stops. Park closures, restrictions, and crowding are all factors now. Double-check your reservations to make sure they are still valid. If you're traveling to a destination for a certain attraction, make sure it's open. Saunders mentioned that a place he wanted to see, Sequoia National Park, was closed. Plan ahead for food. Many businesses are now reopening, but there are still restrictions. And remember that you won't be able to go through a drive through with a large trailer. Many travelers recommend checking with RV parks about their amenities because some, including restrooms, laundry facilities, and on-site convenience stores, may be closed. Ask about specific rules regarding social distancing, which can have an on-impact on pool usage, playgrounds, and campfires. Folding or pop-up trailers. Sitting only about 4 feet high when towed, pop-up trailers can be raised by hand crank or electrically at a campsite. Most have tent-like sides and extensions that pull out of either end. Some brands, such as Airliner and Trail Manor, have hard sides, providing more durability and insulation. Travel Trailers Travel trailers are the most widely sold and most varied type of towable RV. They have solid walls and often feature a slide, a section of wall that either pulls out or motors out to provide more space inside when camping. Travel trailers come in a wide variety of sizes and designs. Small retro-inspired teardrop trailers that are essentially a tent and bed on wheels. Small molded fiberglass trailers, such as the Casita and Scamp, have drawn passionate fan bases for their low-maintenance designs. Mid-price trailers from companies such as Forest River, Gulfstream, and Jayco offer a lot of space and features for the money. The iconic Airstream has a distinctive aluminum body. Aerodynamic and low to the ground, these are easy to tow but are expensive for their size. Smaller trailers typically have a single axle, larger trailers can have two, or even three. More axles increase towing stability and let you limp the trailer to safety in case of a single flat tire, but they can also add to tire replacement costs. Many small trailers can be pulled by a mid-sized SUV. As trailers increase in size and weight, it is necessary to increase the capability of the tow vehicle. Make sure you pay attention to the key weights, the tongues and total trailers. The tongue extends from the trailer and puts direct downward pressure on the hitch, so it's essentially considered a payload. Then there is the weight of the entire trailer, which is how much the vehicle has to pull. Some vehicles may look appropriate until you factor in the added weight of passengers and cargo, including water in the tanks. Hybrid or expandable trailers Hybrid or expandable RV trailers increase sleeping space without the downsides, the added length and weight, that come with getting a bigger trailer. They do that by combining the hard-sided body of a conventional travel trailer with the pull-out end extensions typically found on a folding trailer. 
This design can let you use a smaller tow vehicle while still providing enough sleeping space and amenities for the whole family. Fifth Wheel Trailers Fifth Wheel Trailers are designed to be towed by pickup trucks. The front of this type of trailer extends over a pickup bed that has a hitch that sits beneath the forward quarters. The trailer slides into place in the pickup truck bed. Fifth wheel trailers are generally large and heavy, requiring at least a half-ton truck equipped by the factory to handle a heavy payload. A handful of manufacturers make smaller fifth wheels that can be easily towed by smaller trucks, such as escape fiberglass trailers. It's common to use a heavy-duty truck to tow a fifth wheel. If you're shopping for a trailer and a tow vehicle, consider a pickup truck with dual rear wheels, often referred to as a dually, to pull the largest trailers for better stability and payload capacity. Look at the specific capabilities on the truck you own or plan to buy, because truck cargo and towing capacities can vary widely depending on the engine, the cab configuration, and transmission gearing. Toy Haulers or Sport Utility Trailers Toy haulers or sport utility trailers can come in any travel trailer type. They usually have an enclosed garage in back, designed for carrying motorcycles, ATVs, or other outdoor playthings. A ramp is built in off the back of the trailer, letting you drive these toys out. The ramp itself can often be used as a porch once the toy is unloaded. Truck Campers Truck campers slide into the back of a pickup truck's bed, no towing needed. Often they stick out over the top of the truck's cab to increase living space. Lightweight expedition-style models usually have tent-like fabric sides that pop up to add headroom. The key for truck camper owners is having enough payload capacity. Some pop-top lightweight models fit into smaller trucks, but the typical hard-sided truck camper is too heavy for a half-ton truck, unless that truck is carefully optioned to maximize payload. Most owners tend to use heavy-duty trucks. No matter which recreational trailer or RV you buy, take time making your decision. A common adage is to buy your third trailer first because many people who stick with this hobby go through two or three RVs before they find the right fit. In other words, pace yourself and do your research. You can accelerate that process, and maybe save grief and money, by renting an RV before you buy. That will help you sort out which kind of floor plan and features are important for your type of camping and your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.